everyone! In this video, we will be learning how to create a degree completion plan in the Department of Computer and Information Sciences. Your degree completion plan is your roadmap to graduation and helps you plan which courses to take and when. The sooner you start one, the better. Once you reach 45 or more credits, you are required to have a degree plan on file with your advisor. Let's get started. Our first step is to locate all the materials you will need to complete your plan. This includes your major course sheet, degree completion plan spreadsheet, core requirement sheet, and a list of your academic requirements. Let's start with your major course sheet. You can find this by visiting our CIS advising webpage and selecting your catalog year, or by visiting the front office in 7800 York Road in room wire 406. Let's view our course sheets. As you scroll down the CIS advising webpage, you will find each of our three majors computer science, information systems, and information technology. Click on the PDF link that corresponds to your major, track if applicable, and catalog year. Your catalog year is the year you started at Towson University. For example, if you are an information technology major who started in 2019, you will want to click on this link. Now that we found our major course sheet, let's take a look at it. I find it helpful when creating a degree plan to print off all of your materials ahead of time. It makes it easier to check off each course that you have already completed. As you scroll down the PDF file for information technology, you will see boxes that contain a list of required and elective courses for the major. You will want to make sure you complete all of these requirements along with your 14 core courses in order to graduate. Let's scroll down to the second page. On this page, you will find a flowchart of your required major courses. This helps you determine the order in which to take your classes. You should read this chart from top to bottom and consider each row one semester. For example, COSC 175 and Math 231 are both prerequisites for COSC 236. You cannot take COSC 236 before completing COSC 175 and Math 231. We'll come back to this page later. Now, let's return to our CIS advising webpage and download a copy of our core requirements. Click on Core Curriculum Requirements PDF. This document lists out all of the possible core courses available to take in all 14 core categories. Note, you only need to take one core course from each category. For CIS majors, there are certain courses that you will need to take from this list that will also satisfy some of your major requirements. For computer science, information systems, and information technology majors, you will all need to take English 317 in Core Category 9 and COSC 418 in Core Category 14. For computer science and information technology majors only, you will need to take COM 131 in Core Category 5. Now, let's go to Towson University's website to open up your academic requirements. Navigate to your Student Center and on the left-hand side next to your schedule, select Academic Requirements. Let's do a quick overview of this page. Starting at the top, you will find your catalog year or when you started at Towson University. Below is a list of courses that you are currently enrolled in and any other courses that might have a grade of BIM complete. Next is a box entitled 120 Units. Every student is required to complete 120 course units in order to be eligible to graduate, along with completing all major, minor, if applicable, and core requirements. You will notice under the 120 units box that it lists how many units you have already taken, how many units are still needed, and a list of courses being used to satisfy the 120 unit requirement. All students must also complete 32 upper level units. However, this typically is not a concern with our majors since most of you will take well over the requirement for upper level units. Next, we find individual boxes for each of our core categories. Note, this will show Gen Eds if you are in an earlier catalog year. You must complete a total of 14 cores to satisfy your core requirement. As you scroll down, you will notice that a number of core boxes are already closed. This is because they have already been completed or are currently in progress. Any core boxes that are still open will still need to be completed. Finally, we can scroll down to our major section of our academic requirements page. All major requirements must be completed in order to close this box. 
Your goal is to completely close all of your academic requirement boxes in order to graduate. If a box remains open, it has not been satisfied or completed. Looking at this box, you will notice a few things. A check mark in a green circle for completed courses, a yellow diamond for courses in progress, or a blank space for courses that have not yet been attempted. For the purpose of this degree plan tutorial, we will be focusing on these blank boxes or courses that have not yet been attempted. Keeping your academic requirements page open, let's pull up your major requirements sheet. For this example, I've used the academic requirements report that we just looked at to check off all of the completed courses on both sides of the information technology major course sheet. This is helpful when planning your degree plan because you can look at the completed courses and determine what course you need to take next and what the required prerequisites are for each course. Additionally, I like to highlight all of the courses that I have completed on my course sheet along with the individual course in each column. Any columns that have not been highlighted will still need to be completed. After you have checked off all your completed courses and highlighted all of your core courses, it's time to open up your degree plan spreadsheet. Let's nav navigate back to the CIS advising webpage. On this page, go ahead and click on degree completion plan template. It will now download to your computer and you can go ahead and open it. Let's begin to fill out this spreadsheet. Starting at the top, list your name, last and first. Then your major, followed by a track if your major has one, then your academic advisor. Next, enter your seven digit Towson ID number, followed by your catalog year, which is the year you started at Towson, and then yes or no to whether you transferred to Towson. Now, let's look at your units earned box. This is the number of units you have already completed towards your degree. So for example, if you have already completed 15 courses and earned 45 total units, you would type 45 in this box. Now for units enrolled, this is the number of units you are currently enrolled in this semester. If you are taking five classes for a total of 15 units or credits, you would type 15 in here. Notice that the number of total units on the sheet automatically updates and now lists a total of 60 units. Now that we have completed the top part of the sheet, let's begin filling out the rest of our classes by semester. Begin by typing in the next semester you plan to enroll in courses. For this example, it would be spring 2020. If you plan to take courses during the mini-master, you could also type in mini 2020. Keeping your major and course sheets handy, let's start adding our Spring 2020 courses to the sheet. Okay, since we have already completed COSC 236 and CIS 211, we know that we can add any courses that appear on the third row of the iTech flowchart that we have not already completed. So for spring 2020, let's add the following. CIS 377, iTech 231, and iTech 315. You'll note that we could also add iTech 345, but let's save that for the following semester. Now, opening up our course sheet, we can see that we still need to complete COM 131 although we took Deaf Studies 104. Even though this core has been completed, COM 131 is still a requirement and needs to be put down on your spreadsheet and taken in one of your next semesters. So let's add COM 131 for Spring 2020 along with another core. Let's pick from Core 7, Astronomy 161. Now that that's completed, 
let's add in the total units for each course. For the first four, they were each a total of three units, which is going to be the most common number of units for your courses, whereas Astronomy 161 is a four credit lab course, so we'll put four in here. You'll also notice again that the total units for that semester updates here, and the total units overall will update up here. Now, let's put in the prerequisites for each of these courses. Oops. Moving back to our information technology sheet, we can see that CIS 377 requires CIS 211, ITech 231 requires both CIS 211 and CUSE 236, as does ITech 315. For my core courses, I also like to note in the prerequisite which core they are used for. So for COM 131, put in core 5, and for Astronomy 161, put in core 7. So this is an example just to get you started on your degree plan worksheet. If you're planning to take courses in the summer, you would fill out summer 2020 here, add in the courses, then spring, sorry, fall 2020, add in the courses, and so on, until you reach a total of 120 units and complete all your major and core requirements. At this point, once you have completed everything, I would suggest double checking, making sure everything is done, then when you're finished, save your file as follows, your seven digit TAFS and ID number along with your last name. Email your degree plan to your advisor and then set up a meeting to review. You are now finished. Congratulations. You are on your way to completing your degree at Towson University. Thanks for watching.